The megalodon, scientifically known as Ototus megalodon, has long fascinated scientists and the public alike as one of the largest and most powerful predators to ever exist. For years, its size has been heavily debated. Recent studies by scientists like Victor Perez at the Florida Museum of Natural History have begun to challenge our understanding of this ancient predator's true size. Through updated methodologies and refined measurements, Perez and his team found that previous calculations likely underestimated Megalodon's size. Based on their findings, Megalodon may have reached around 60 feet, not the 50 to 60 feet once hypothesized. The utilization of Megalodon teeth discovered in aquatic environments has historically been regarded as the most reliable indicator of an individual shark's size due to a substantial contribution of fossilized teeth from the same megalodon shark, Perez was able to address certain variations. Following the implementation of the lesson on recreating a megalodon's jaw in multiple elementary and high schools using a collection of teeth, Perez observed significant discrepancies in students' estimations of shark size. He subsequently collaborated with other researchers and used an alternative methodology modeling the megalodon's jaw based on the tooth's width, rather than its height. The wider paleontological community reacted positively to the novel methodology. Ronnie Mike later, who collaborated with Perez on the model, said that he was rather astonished that no one had previously considered this. Perez utilizes this example, now published in the journal Paleontologia Electronica, to illustrate the continual evolution of science. This revelation not only reshapes our understanding of Megalodon's physical attributes, but also offers insights into the ecology and biology of this extinct species. This new understanding of Megalodon's size has significant implications for understanding its ecology, biology, and role in the marine ecosystem of its time. An increase in the estimated size also suggests that Megalodon's energy and food requirements may have been different from what scientists previously believed. If Megalodon was closer to 65 feet rather than 60, it may have had increased metabolic needs. Though many would remark that the size of the Megalodon made it an incredible predator that helped to allow the creature to dominate the oceans during its reign, the truth is that the creature's large stature actually proved to be more of a hindrance in nature than an actual benefit. In order to support its massive body weight and muscle growth, the body of the megalodon had a tremendous metabolism that only caused the creature to require massive amounts of food and resources constantly available in its environment in order to not starve. This calorie requirement would have forced the megalodon to eat more than 2,500 pounds of meat a day just to survive making it next to impossible to not starve if the creature found itself in an area void of a large abundance of natural prey. Given the fact that the diet of the massive shark was made up mostly of turtles and seals, the megalodon would have been forced to be in a constant state of predation just to meet its daily calorie requirements, even going so far as possibly eating its own young in times of stress and engaging in risky behaviors just to locate a possible food source that would most likely deplete in a short matter of time. Given the fact that this giant shark often traveled over vast distances, this led to high probabilities of winding up in new areas that did not contain an adequate food source and ultimately left the entire species incredibly vulnerable. These problems are only made worse when one takes into consideration how an environment can easily be changed in its resource availability by season, which would often mean that the megalodon would be forced to travel greater distances or be highly susceptible to starvation if any dramatic changes in climate occurred. The Massive Bite Force of Megalodon Megalodon's bite force was unmatched, estimated to be one of the greatest in the animal kingdom. This incredible force, combined with its sheer size and powerful jaws, made it an apex predator capable of preying on large marine animals, including whales. Studying Megalodon's bite force not only reveals insights into the feeding behaviors of one of Earth's most formidable predators, but also demonstrates the evolutionary adaptations that enabled its dominance in ancient seas. Unlike modern sharks, which leave behind bones and cartilage, the megalodon's skeletal structure has not fossilized well. Therefore, scientists rely primarily on its teeth, some of the largest ever found, measuring up to seven inches long. 
and comparison with living relatives to estimate its bite force. Using sophisticated modeling techniques, paleontologists have developed methods to estimate the bite force of megalodon based on the size and structure of its jaws and teeth, often drawing comparisons to the great white shark, which shares some anatomical similarities. In 2008, a team of researchers led by Dr. Stephen Rowe at the University of New South Wales developed one of the most widely cited models for megalodon's bite force. Using 3D computer models, they scaled the estimated bite force of a great white shark up to the size of a megalodon. Their results indicated that megalodon could generate a bite force between 24,000 and 40,000 pounds per square inch, depending on various factors. To put this into perspective, a great white shark has a bite force of about 4,000 pounds per square inch, while a lion's is about 650 pounds per square inch. Even the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, Another contender for the greatest bite force is estimated to have had a bite force of approximately 12,008 pounds per square inch. Megalodon's bite force, therefore, remains unparalleled, possibly the strongest of any known predator. The immense bite force of Megalodon can be attributed to its powerful jaws, robust muscles, and specialized teeth. Unlike many predators, Megalodon's jaws were wide and thick, with a powerful musculature that allowed for maximum leverage and force when closing. Its jaws were likely lined with up to 276 teeth arranged in multiple rows, allowing for repeated bites even if teeth were lost or broken during hunting. These teeth were conical and serrated, designed to pierce and slice through tough flesh and bone effectively. Each tooth was wide and deep-rooted, providing stability and durability under immense pressure. The musculature of Megalodon's jaw would have been massive, with strong tendons and ligaments supporting its bite force. Additionally, the structure of its skull, which was broader and more robust than that of modern sharks, allowed it to distribute force more evenly across the jaw. This feature enabled Megalodon to maintain a firm grip on prey, ensuring that even the most resistant animals could not escape once caught in its jaws. Megalodon's extraordinary bite force served a crucial role in its survival as it allowed this predator to target large prey that few other predators could handle. Paleontological evidence suggests that Megalodon's diet primarily consisted of marine mammals, including ancient whales, large fish, and even other sharks. The size and strength of its prey meant that Megalodon needed both a powerful bite and efficient hunting strategies to take down these massive animals. By targeting large marine mammals, Megalodon occupied a niche at the top of the oceanic food chain. Its bite force was instrumental in breaking through the thick blubber and bones of whales, a task few other marine predators could accomplish. Fossil evidence supports this, as many whale bones from the Miocene and Pliocene epochs exhibit deep parallel gouges and fractures consistent with Megalodon's serrated teeth. Megalodon's bite force allowed it to subdue and consume prey swiftly, minimizing the risk of energy-wasting struggles. The evolution of Megalodon's bite force can be seen as an adaptation to its changing environment. As the world's oceans cooled and new species of marine mammals appeared, Megalodon evolved to become an even more formidable predator. The increasing size of marine mammals likely drove the need for greater bite force, ensuring that Megalodon could continue to dominate its ecosystem. Evolution shaped its jaw and teeth to withstand high pressures, enhancing its predatory efficiency. In comparison to modern-day animals, Megalodon's bite force was unparalleled. Today's largest sharks, such as the Great White and Tiger Shark, do not approach Megalodon's bite strength, nor do any other marine animals. The saltwater crocodile, known for its powerful bite, has an estimated bite force of around 3,700 pounds per square inch which, while impressive, is only a fraction of Megalodon's capabilities. When compared to other prehistoric predators, Megalodon's bite force remains impressive. Tyrannosaurus rex, often celebrated for its bone-crushing bite, would have had a bite force strong enough to shatter bones and dismember prey, but still would not reach Megalodon's maximum potential pounds per square inch. This difference is largely due to the contrasting prey and feeding habits of these two giants. T. rex hunted on land, where gravity limited its size and bite mechanics, while Megalodon adapted to an aquatic environment that allowed it to grow larger and utilize different feeding dynamics. 
Megalodon's incredible bite force contributed to its dominance in prehistoric oceans, leaving a lasting impact on marine ecosystems. Its extinction around 3.6 million years ago opened new niches, allowing other marine predators to evolve and fill its place. With Megalodon gone, large whales, which had been a primary food source for the massive predator, experienced reduced predation pressure and likely evolved larger body sizes as a result. Megalodon's remarkable bite force enabled it to crush and subdue some of the largest prey in the ocean, including prehistoric whales. Equipped with rows of massive serrated teeth and a jaw capable of generating immense pressure, Megalodon was specifically adapted to hunt large marine mammals. The hunting strategy Megalodon likely employed against whales combined sheer strength with tactical precision. Megalodon's serrated teeth were ideally suited for tearing through thick flesh and breaking bones. Unlike modern sharks that rely on repeated bites and tearing motions, Megalodon's bite force was strong enough to deliver a devastating single-bite blow to a whale's ribcage or skull. With one powerful strike, Megalodon could break the bones of its prey, including the ribcage, which would likely collapse under the pressure, puncturing internal organs and rendering the whale immobile. In addition to its crushing bite force, Megalodon's jaws were extremely wide, allowing it to encompass large sections of its prey, especially younger or smaller whales. By clamping down with its enormous mouth, it could simultaneously grip and crush large portions of a whale, causing massive trauma in a matter of seconds. Once it latched onto its prey, Megalodon could use its head and body strength to shake and thrash, further dismembering its target. This approach would not only allow it to crush bones, but also increase the effectiveness of its bite by creating additional tearing forces, maximizing damage and quickly immobilizing its prey. Megalodon's ability to crush whales made it a unique predator capable of hunting creatures that no other ocean predator could effectively subdue. Its massive bite force, combined with powerful body movements, ensured that it could consume large prey more efficiently, without the need for prolonged struggles. Fossil evidence of whale bones bearing deep gouges and fracture marks further supports this, as these wounds are consistent with the crushing and tearing abilities of Megalodon's jaws. By effectively shattering bones, it could access nutrient-rich areas such as the chest cavity and internal organs, which were a valuable source of energy. This extraordinary bite force also allowed Megalodon to target specific vulnerable areas on whales, such as the spine, head, and pectoral fins, strategically incapacitating its prey. A bite to the spine would sever nerves, rendering the whale paralyzed, while a strike to the skull would cause fatal head trauma. This tactic, combined with the sheer crushing power of its bite, meant that Megalodon could efficiently kill large whales with minimal energy expenditure. No shark has ever rivaled the Megalodon. Megalodon's body size wasn't just an intimidating feature. It was a critical adaptation for ruling the prehistoric seas. Its massive bulk allowed it to target large prey, such as early whales, which were abundant during the Miocene epoch. The energy required to sustain such a large predator necessitated big, nutrient-rich prey, and Megalodon's size enabled it to hunt animals that no other predator could handle. This size advantage also likely provided Megalodon with protection, as there were no known marine predators capable of challenging it directly. One of Megalodon's most unique traits was its bite force, which is estimated to be one of the most powerful in the animal kingdom. This immense bite force allowed Megalodon to exploit its environment in a way that no other shark could. Fossilized whale bones bearing deep, serrated gouges and fractures provide evidence of the shark's bone-crushing abilities. Megalodon's teeth, some of which reached over seven inches in length, were designed not only to pierce, but also to rip and tear through flesh and bone. These teeth, which were wide and triangular with serrated edges, could slice through the thick blubber and flesh of large marine mammals, ensuring that Megalodon had access to the rich nutrients it needed to sustain its large body. Megalodon's hunting prowess was further enhanced by its agility and strength, Although it was a massive creature, it was likely capable of impressive bursts of speed, using its powerful tail to propel itself through the water quickly. This speed, combined with its broad, muscular build, made Megalodon an incredibly versatile hunter, capable of stalking and ambushing prey or using brute force to overpower large animals. 
In addition to its physical capabilities, Megalodon had a predatory dominance that few animals could challenge. As an apex predator, it played a crucial role in maintaining balance in marine ecosystems by controlling populations of large marine mammals. Its presence would have influenced the behavior, migration, and population sizes of other species, ensuring a balanced ecosystem. Smaller predators and scavengers would have likely depended on the remains of Megalodon's kills, illustrating its indirect impact on the entire food web. Modern sharks, while still formidable predators, cannot rival the size, power, or ecological impact of Megalodon. The great white shark, the largest living predatory shark, is often compared to Megalodon, but is much smaller and has a far less powerful bite force. Unlike Megalodon, great whites primarily hunt smaller marine mammals, such as seals, rather than large whales. The evolution of great whites has tailored them to a different ecological niche, one that lacks the imposing dominance that Megalodon once held over the oceans. Furthermore, modern oceans do not contain the same abundance of large marine mammals that existed during Megalodon's time making it unlikely for any contemporary predator to reach such an enormous size or possess a similarly powerful bite. The environmental pressures that allowed Megalodon to evolve and thrive no longer exist in today's ecosystems, and no modern shark has adapted to fill its niche entirely. The extinction of Megalodon, which likely occurred around 3.6 million years ago, marked the end of an era in marine history. Without this apex predator, other marine species experienced shifts in population and behavior, 